In this video, we're going to be looking at Pop Player for Windows. Pop Player can be downloaded here from this website. I'll have a link in the description below. You want to get the 64-bit version. Once downloaded and installed, you open it up. You have a media player similar to VLC, but I think Pop Player has a little bit more features and I just like the way it looks because it's dark by default and all the VLC dark skins look ugly to me. So this is a nice looking player and like you would in any media player, if you drag a file or open a file, you can play video or or audio. And you'll notice how the player changes depending on when you're playing video or audio. You can change this in settings if you don't like how it adjusts. But this is the way the audio skin looks. So whenever you're playing with audio, you'll see this wave bar here along with the thumbnail and the time of the duration of the audio. If I go back and play a video, it will automatically resize to the size of the video like this. But you can also obviously shrink it down to more more reasonable size if you don't want it full screen. I'll stop this or pause it. Now let's look at some of the controls. At the bottom here you have your playback controls for play, pause, stop, backward seek or forward seek. This button allows you to open a file. A little eject button. You have the time here. If you click this, you can change how the duration of the media looks. So if you want it to count up or count down. Here we have information about the video that we're playing. For example, AAC audio, AVC one video. We have 3D buttons here for 3D options if you're playing 3D video. This button allows us to show the browser, which is here. So if you click the browser button, then you can see you can see the navigation, the main menu, subtitles, and so forth. And that's by clicking the browser button there. Otherwise, this sidebar will show you your playlist, where you can see all the files you have in your playlist, as well as a PC browser tab. And you can also show hide this sidebar using this button here. This cog button brings up a control panel where you can adjust the audio, such as the equalizer. There's various presets, as well as master volume. Video, you can adjust the brightness, contrast, saturation, and color, or set them to default. Subtitle options, which font to use, the size, and the position, as well as options for how the sync works with the subtitles. And playback options for seeking, speed, and so forth. You notice when I move windows, these pop player windows around, they tend to snap. And this is allows you to snap and then move everything at once as opposed to everything separate. Pop player will also snap to the edges of the windows of your screen, the edges of your screen, and so forth. You can adjust the volume here as well as adjust the seek position as you would with any other player. And again, to show you that audio skin, we drag audio here. In the audio layout, again, we have the thumbnail, the duration of the audio, which when you click, you can change how that counts. The name, as well as information about the file, the wave bar, and all, all you in all your controls. You also have repeat and shuffle if you want to shuffle the playlist. And you can also choose up here to keep the player always on top. 
So when you click that pin icon, notice how the player is staying on top. Now when you're playing audio and you resize it like this, then you will be able to see the thumbnail of the audio file if it has a thumbnail. And then again, you can move it around, you can move the player around just by clicking and dragging or snapping it to the edge of your display. Now let's take a look at playing media from a URL. If you go to the menu at the top and click open, open from URL and paste a link, hit OK. You will open the stream. In this case, I am streaming NPR. And if we click the sidebar and dock it, we see our playlist being played here. If we wanted to save this, we can right click in the sidebar, go to playlist and save as. And I'll save to the desktop as NPR. So that's one way you can save these streams if you want to go back and listen to them. You can also stream YouTube videos, opening the link and pasting it and hitting OK. And there we go. And when you're streaming a YouTube video, you will see the uploader, the channel, the date uploaded, the number of views, and the description of the video. You also have the ability to change the quality. So if you wanted to go down to maybe 360p and so forth, I'll go back to 720p. And again, you can save this out as a playlist to go back to it again. Let me go back to my videos and make this not be on top. Let's bring back up my videos and I will play this one. And we'll have a look at some of the options you have with Pop Player. Also notice that when you drag audio into the player, you're given the option to play it now or play it later. Later, If you choose play later, it will be added to the playlist. You can go to the main menu by clicking the menu at the top here or right clicking anywhere in the player. We have options to open files, open from URL, a folder, FTP, web data. We can open a screen capture, DVD, Blu-ray, load subtitles, album and favorites, playback controls, speed, skip, jump to, chapters and bookmarks, playlist options, repeat, seamless playback, shuffle, Subtitle options, as, there, as you can see, there's many, as well as the video options for resizing video effects, screen rotation, video capture. You can capture snapshots or screenshots. You can create thumbnail images, record video, audio options, playback volume, system volume, increase, decrease. Equalizer, equalizer presets, audio sync, audio effects, audio recording. You can apply filters, skins. For example, if I go to window frame skin, you'll notice that the player changes to look more like a Windows window. If I go to view, skins, I can go back to the default. You have misc options for shutdown, language interface, always stay on top, and so forth. 
frame settings. Zoom in out, stretch, compress vertically, and so forth. We have aspect ratio options, 16 by 9, 16 by 10, 4 by 3. Window size, you can see we can go full screen while keeping aspect ratio or go full screen and stretch the video. We also have shortcuts for those here as well. Preferences, which we'll get to. Playlists, show hide playlists. Control panel brings this window back up. File information can be seen here. Size, frame rate, file info, and so forth the about. I want to show you the preferences. If you right click and go to preferences, you can see all of the various options. I can't possibly get to all of them in this one video. I just want you to see that this thing has so many different options that you can configure such as mouse, touch, X input for controllers, skins, advanced skin options, Navigation, playback options, advanced playback options, initialization, you can adjust your aspect ratio here, full screen mode options, playlist options, subtitle options. There's so much devices, screen capture, um, webcam, devices, filters, video decoder options video we've got pixel shaders 3d mode a lot of these options are in the main menu as well color spaces de de resizing as well as effects crop volume control equalizer normalizer noise reduction Winamp DSP plugin, as well as various extensions that you can modify. There's accessibility options, location options. So this is where you can choose where to save media for capture, file association options, add or remove configurations you can as well as export your settings when you export it'll export as a rich file screensaver options and so forth so a ton of options in pop player i think pop player has even more options than vlc but i just wanted to show you that it's pretty customizable Popular has various skins that you can download by going to this website and I have a link in the description below as well. And you can select from you can select from a list of skins and browse the skins on this page. And when you download them, I already have one here called the simple theme. And all you have to do is drag it into the player. You'll be asked for permissions. I'll say yes. And it will go ahead and change your skin. And here's what this skin looks like. It's even darker. And some things will change the playback controls. For example, now we have the playback controls here. And we have a quick link for capturing screenshots. If you didn't want this theme, you could go back and switch back to the default. When you have a playlist, such as I do here in the sidebar. You can adjust how this looks. So for example, if we right click and go to view as, you can choose how to view the list. So in this case, if we choose list, I think this is the default where it just shows you the name of the audio and the time duration. Right click again and go to view as you can choose two row. 
up to three rows, up to four, and as you can see, the thumbnail gradually gets bigger, and this is the biggest. I'll go back to this one, or maybe that one. So you can adjust how your playlists are displayed. Also notice at the bottom here, you can use these buttons to rearrange your playlist, add, or delete, or sort. And you can also search your list. And here you can see the full duration of your playlist. Now if you don't like how the player automatically switches between audio and video skins, you can disable this by going to skins and disable switching between skin modes. Hit apply, okay. And now it will no longer switch between those modes. So we're in a video player right now. If we go back and play audio, we'll see that it's using the video skin and it won't show the audio wave bar. As far as audio support or media support, I have not ran into anything that Pop Player cannot play. I think anything that VLC can play, this player can also play. And the fact I've come across some strange video formats that I have never seen before that Pop Player was easily able to play. So I'm very impressed with this player. I like it a lot. I switched from VLC simply because I wanted a player that had a dark theme. And I didn't like any of the dark skins available for VLC, so I started using this. And I like it a lot. So many options, so many ways to configure it. So yeah, that's a look at Pop Player for Windows.